Hi, today I wanted to do a review of this Aihoi uh, trekking poles. So they do come in a bag as you can see here. And they come with a bunch of attachments as well. So uh, let me pull the poles out so you can see those. And I have put one of the attachments on. We'll put the bag to the side here. So the poles are like so. They do fit in the hand pretty nicely. I have fairly large hands and they've got plenty of room for me. Uh, it does have a place you can grab down lower uh, and that is something you can slide and adjust. So if you wanted to grab here, but when you are scrambling on rocks, you wanna be able to grab here, you can grab that. If you are squeezing it, it's not moving, but if you are not squeezing it, you can adjust it. So, um, just like a painter's pole or something like that, uh, righty tighty lefty loosey allows you to extend it, and it's got two, um, it's got two extensions. Obviously, you see that I accidentally pulled this out; it slides right back in pretty easy. And once you tighten it down, it's not moving. Uh, it once this is out, you bring this one all the way to stop, right here, and so. You tighten it here and then it will show you the height of the pole from there so you can obviously make it as short as you need it to be but this goes up to 135 centimeters I'm six foot two and that is bigger than I need it to be personally at six foot two so I would say this is gonna work probably for somebody uh, probably up to six 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 seven range and you should be fine with this pole uh, on the bottom, it does have a little rubber boot. That rubber boot does come off and it exposes a carbide tip. That's going to be very good for ice or things like that. Rubber boot for places that you don't want to scratch. Uh, or if you're like going to go on the Inca Trail or something like that, a place where they won't let you use a carbide tip and you need a rubber one, you just pop that rubber one right over there. If you are in the snow, uh, it does have the wide snow tips here that will distribute the load and allow you to get purchased. And if you want it to poke through, once again, you pull that off and you have your snow tip. Uh, these would probably work in a pinch of ski poles, um, but the horizontal force, I don't know if I would recommend it, but you could probably do it in a pinch of ski poles or maybe cross country ski poles if you're careful with them as well. They do have your, uh, they do have a loop for your wrist as well. Um, so you can you know drop them while you're getting your water or not worry about having them fall off a cliff so, In the bag with them You have other tips so you have a uh, maybe mud uh, You have your other snow tip you have kind of rocking walker rubber pads here And you have an extra set of rubber tips as well um, because those will eventually wear out if they're more your most used tips and for a lot of people they are uh, and obviously you have doubles at each of those one for each pole it does have a thing on how to adjust the pole and it also has a height to adjustment height um, ratio obviously don't exceed the stop mark because that will weaken the pole itself so I'm going to show you the last little thing with the pole here, but I'm going to go out where I can actually put some downward force on the pole. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera so you can see this. Okay, so one nice thing about this particular pole that you don't get on every pole is this has an anti-shock feature. And you can actually turn that off by turning it this way, and it locks in place. Or if you turn it this way till it clicks, you can see that it will actually absorb shock. So as you are moving, it's not going to put as much shock on your wrist there. And of course, if you don't want that, you just turn it to the left and it locks in place and you get plenty of uh, immediate resistance. So really, really nice pull. Um, it definitely supports a fair amount of weight um, and I'm not really worried about having it break or anything like that. So, even putting a decent amount of force into it. So, hopefully this video review has been helpful, and thank you very much for watching.